Hi my friends, it's Miss Becky from Speech. Today we're going to work on the th sound. So it's in words like tooth or the. And it's kind of silly because your tongue has to stick out. And on other sounds we say, don't stick your tongue out. And on this one, I'm saying stick your tongue out. I know, it's kind of confusing. So, um, we're going to start with just some words, and then at the end, we'll read a book that has some of those th sounds in it. That sound is in so many words that we say, so it's important that we practice it. And I want you to make sure that when you say it, you're saying th and not th. Mm -hmm. They sound a little bit the same, but they're very different. You ready? All right. So here is that sound at the beginning of some words. So here's our very first word. We have the word thaw. So the snowman is going to thaw. So let's try that one three times. You ready? Thaw, thaw, thaw. Good. All right, next we have thunderstorm. Sorry, that looks a little bit blurry, doesn't it? Okay, here we go. Thunderstorm. Two more. Thunderstorm. Watch my tongue. Thunderstorm. Okay, here's another one. We're just going to do that first word. Thanksgiving. Here we go. Three times. Thanksgiving. 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 Thursday. Here we go. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Let's do one more at the beginning of words. Here we go. This sound makes us do this. Think. Here we go. Three times. Think, think, think. All right. And when you when you say this, these sounds in you know normal speech you won't be doing it quite as exaggerated as I am right now. We're just doing it that way for practice. All right, so now we're going to do that th sound at the end of the word, okay? I know, here we go. So in school, you have math, right? So we're gonna do that word three times. Here we go. Math, math, math. Did you see this time my tongue came out at the end of the word? Let's try this one. Tooth. Here we go. Tooth. 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 Bath. 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 And just because this one's kind of silly, let's do this one. This one is sloth. It's kind of a silly word to say. Here we go. Sloth, sloth, sloth. And every time I see this, it just reminds me of that movie Zootopia, if you've seen that, where the sloth moves so slow. Okay, and finally, we will do um, a few words with that or the sound in the middle of the word, okay? So we did it at the beginning, we did it at the end, now we're gonna do them in the middle, here we go. So the first one is clothing, here we go. Clothing, clothing, clothing. You wanna make sure you're not saying clothing or clothing, it's clothing. My tongue comes out in the middle. Here's another one. This one's gross. Ugh, I don't like snakes. This kind of snake is called a python. Three times. Here we go. Python, python, python. Okay, we'll do three more of these. Toothpaste. And this one, it's really easy to say toothpaste. Do you hear the difference? Toothpaste toothpaste. There's a difference there. Yeah, here we go. Toothpaste, toothpaste, toothpaste. So if you'll notice my tongue comes out, but it comes right back in. 
So again, for practice, you may do it slow, but in real life, when you're actually talking and you get really good at this sound, it'll be really quick, so it won't feel as weird. Here we go, two more. Mouthwash, three times. Mouthwash, mouthwash, mouthwash. And last one, bathtub. So we did bath, that was at the end of the word, now we're doing bathtub, that's in the middle. Here we go. Bathtub, bathtub, bathtub. Good job. All right, so next we'll take a look at a book. Hi, my friends, it's Miss Becky from Speech. Okay, so this book is called The Littlest Dinosaur by Michael Foreman. And as with a lot of books, there's a lot of th and z sounds in it. So the difference is, like in tooth, my voice is off. Tooth. It's not vibrating. But when I do th, like in th, if you feel your throat, your voice will vibrate a little bit. That's the only difference. Anyway, um, in words like the, there, these, those, that's in a lot of reading and it's in a lot of speech. That's why this is an important sound for us to practice. Okay? Here we go. Long, long ago when the world was young and everything, so let's try that word two times. Here we go. Everything, everything. We won't do every word in this book that has the th sound, but we'll do a few of them. Everything was new. A mother dinosaur sat proudly on her eggs. Let's do mother. Here we go. Mother, mother. One by one, the eggs began to crack and baby dinosaurs poked their heads out into the sunshine. All except one. The mother worried and fussed about it and kept it warm and sang songs to it, but still the egg didn't crack. So let's go ahead and do that word the. We'll do that one a few times. Here we go. The, the. The neighbors came by with help and advice. Make it warmer, they said. Keep it cool, they suggested. The mother was very loving and lay beside the egg all the time. She breathed on it. So let's try breathed. That one is kind of tricky because it, your tongue just barely comes out and goes right back in. Here we go. Breathed, breathed. She breathed on it to keep it warm or fanned it with the banana leaves to cool it down, but still the egg didn't crack. The father dinosaur. So let's do father. Here we go. Father, father. Dinosaur wanted, the, wanted to break the egg open, but the mother said, no, it will happen when the baby is ready, not before. One day, the father became so tired of looking after all the young dinosaurs while the mother fussed over the egg that he put his face very close to the egg and shouted, come on, egg, do something. So let's do that word, something. So on here, you can see that TH there. Here we go. Something, something. The egg shook. The egg wobbled and then it began to crack. A little crack at first, then a big crack. And the shell broke into the baby dinosaur blinked in the sunlight. The father dinosaur gasped. The mother dinosaur gasped and all the young dinosaurs and all the neighbors gasped. They had never seen such a tiny baby. That's the littlest dinosaur I've ever seen, said the father. He's no bigger than a dinosaur's toe. So we're going to say the word van. T-H-A-N, here we go. Van, van. The neighbors began to giggle. Oh, he may be tiny, but he's very special to me, cried the mother dinosaur, and she scooped up the baby and kissed his tiny face. Days and weeks passed, and no matter how much food the mother dinosaur gave the baby, he didn't grow any bigger. The littlest dinosaur was sad because he was too small to join his big brothers and sisters when they played. So let's say that word brothers. Do you have a brother? I do, I have two brothers. Let's try that word, here we go. Brother, brother. And what if one of his huge neighbors stepped on him by accident? Uh oh. The only place the littlest dinosaur felt safe was high on a hill there he could sit and look down on the forest. It made him feel bigger. One day, far away on another hill, 
he saw another dinosaur. Let's try that word, another. Here we go, two times. Another, another. Even at a distance, he looked sad. The littlest dinosaur wondered how a dinosaur that big could possibly be sad. When the rainy season began, the big dinosaur squelched and rolled in the mud. But not the littlest dinosaur. He hated the mud. He was always getting stuck in the other dinosaur's big muddy footprints and having to yell, Help! Get me out of here! One day, the father, let's try that word again, father, father, dinosaur got stuck. He was squelching and rolling in the mud at the edge of the river. But when he tried to get out, he couldn't. The more he struggled, the more he got stuck. Get me out of here, he yelled. The mother, let's say that word, mother, mother, tried to help, but she got stuck. The neighbors tried to help, and they got stuck. Let's do that word twice. They, they. The littlest dinosaur's brothers and sisters waded in and they got stuck too. Get us out of here, they all yelled. The littlest dinosaur wished and wished that he were big enough to rescue them. You have to go for help, said the mother dinosaur. But who could help, wondered the littlest dinosaur. Then he remembered the long neck. Let's say then. Then, then. The littlest dinosaur was scared as he stepped from the riverbank onto a water lily leaf. It tipped and dipped, but it didn't sink. One leaf at a time, he wibbled and wobbled his way across the river, then ran through the forest and climbed the hill, slipping and sliding and slipping until he got to the top. So let's say that word, through. Here we go. Through. Through. There he was, the long neck. He looked down at the littlest dinosaur. Help me, please, the littlest dinosaur cried. My family is stuck in the river and the water is rising fast. The long neck picked him up and with great long strides was soon down the hill, through the forest and at the river bank. He stretched his neck across the river and began pulling out the sinking dinosaurs until one by one they were all safe on the shore. Thank you. Let's try that word. Thank you. Thank you. The father dinosaur shouted as he waved to the long neck. And as for you, he said, picking up the littlest dinosaur, you may be the size of a bug, but you're as brave as a dinosaur 100 times your size. And he kissed him on his tiny nose. When the rain stopped and the river was not so wide, the littlest dinosaur went to visit the long neck again. He no longer looked so sad. I thought I was too big and too clumsy to do anything useful, he said, but now I know that's not true. So we're going to try a couple of words in that sentence. Let's do thought. Here we go. Thought, thought, and then we'll do anything, anything, anything. And I thought I was too small to do anything at all, laughed the littlest dinosaur. They sat together on the hill, the biggest and the littlest, and now the greatest of friends. So finally, we'll do that word together. Here we go. Together, together. The end. Great job. Keep working on those th and th sounds.